pair of scissors, white yarn, a flower loom, black yarn, a spool loom, and fiber fill. To begin, I'm going to go ahead and make a knot and place this on the central knob of my peg, a central knob of my loom, excuse me. Then after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do a drawstring bind on, which basically means that you kind of do like a star shape, zigzagging in and out of each peg. I do have a video that shows you how to do this completely, so I will link that below and that goes through further instructions, but I'm just going over really basics. You will need the drawstring bind on for a lot, many, many times in this video, so make sure you know that. Then I'm just taking my yarn over the loom and every other peg that has loops on it, I will be knitting it off. So I hope that makes sense because we zigged in and out, zigged, zigzagged in and out. Okay, let me, let me talk. <laughs> then only every other peg you're going to be knitting off. I hope that makes sense because I sound like I'm talking crazy over here. <laughs> now I'm just continuing to knit off all the way around the loom. Then after I've done that, I'm going to bring the loops down to the bottom of the peg, and I'm going to go ahead and e-wrap all the way around the loom. After you do that drawstring um, cast on, it's a pretty basic knit. You're just going to be e-wrapping and knitting off each peg. Just so you know, this is the third part in a three-part series of teddy bears. First video I made showed you how to make teddy bears. Second video I made showed you how to make mini bears. And this is the panda bear video. So I will link those um, other videos in the description box. And there will also be a picture at the end that you can see what each one looks like. So definitely go and check out those other videos because the panda bear video is the same as the teddy bear video. It's just different colors. Alright, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm e-wrapping twice around each peg. So as you can see here, I'm just e-wrapping once, pushing it down a little bit with my finger, and then e-wrapping again. Um, this is for a double knit stitch, which I'll explain about in a second. But I prefer to do it this way um, versus e-wrapping once around the loop and then e-wrapping again. It's just easier to go peg by peg and just e-wrap twice. Um, what the double knit stitch does is it creates a thicker knit stitch. It's really good for stuffed animals and stuff that you're going to put fiber fill in because it stays a little bit stiffer and it's not as loose. Um, you don't have to change your yarn weight or anything like that. Use the same yarn as you normally would, just a basic medium weight yarn. Um, it just is a little bit stiffer if that makes sense. Then for the um, knitting off part, oh, cat interruptions, sorry, let's replay that. <laughs> That's my kitty. Um, then for the knitting off part, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of the three loops and knit it off over the two. So there's three loops on each peg and I'm taking one and knitting it over the two. And then I'm just continuing this around the entire loom. Also, just so you know, the head and the body are the exact same instructions, the exact same pattern. Just the amount that you knit of each is a little bit different, which I'll explain when I get there. So, um, I'm just going to be showing you how to do it once. So, make the body once, and then maybe rewatch this, and then make the head. Um, but yeah, just so you know, I'm not going to be showing you once how to make the body and then how to make the head. It's just all in one because it's easier, and I would be here for 30 minutes talking if I filmed both. I'm just continuing that. Now after you've e-wrapped, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, because when we pulled those pegs down to the bottom, they kind of sandwich together, I'm just kind of splitting with my purple hook those two loops into one so that I can still knit that one loop over the two. So I'm still doing the same double knit stitch one over the two. Now I'm just going to go ahead and continue to knit until I have about five and a half inches of knitted material done, which is what you can see here. And also I had a major lighting change because I filmed this the next day, so I apologize for that. But yeah, just go ahead and do that standard double knit stitch for about five and a half inches. I'll have exact rows in the description box with the pattern link, but uh, yeah. Then after you've done your five and a half rows or your four, um, five and a half rows, I cannot talk, five and a half inches of double knit or four inches if you're doing the head, then what you're going to do is instead of e-wrapping on this row, as you can see here, I'm just splitting the two um, loops and knitting one over the other. So after you've finished double knitting, you do not need to e-wrap. That's the weird one about this row. You just split them and then knit them one over the other, which is what I'm continuing to do here. Whew, I know, I feel like I'm talking a mile in a minute, and I don't mean to overload you with information. Um, I mentioned a written pattern, which like I said, I will be 
uh, down below which tells you specifically row by row what to do this is just the video format for this so um, check that pattern out below if you want to print that out and use that um, as well now after I've gotten through that we are double knit section I'm just e-wrapping once not twice none of that funky business just e-wrapping once taking the bottom loop placing it over the top and continuing around the loop just like we did with the beginning, you know, we, we did a couple rows of standard knitting and then we got into the double knit section. Now we're finishing out with a couple knitted rows just to give it some, some roundness. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut my yarn with about 12 inches to 18 inches of, of, of uh, tail, if you want to call it. And I'm just going to do a basic gathered bind off. This is just like you would do if you were taking off a hat or a stuffed animal or any of those. It's the exact same thing. It's a really, really simple. And I'm just continuing that all the way around the loop. I do apologize, I feel like this video is a little all over the place because the lighting changes and me you not know, filming this weird, so I really apologize. If this is the first video you watch by me, I'm not usually this kind of unorganized and crazy. Just this video is very complicated, so it took a while to film. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the arms and the legs. Once again, with the head and body, I'm just showing you once and it's the exact same instructions. Um, what I'm just doing now is a drawstring cast on on the larger side of the spool loom. After I finish that drawstring cast on, I'm going to go ahead and e-wrap around the, um, that side and simply knit off. Once again, like I explained, just with the head and the body, I'm going to be showing you this once. The arms are excuse me, four rows shorter than the legs, and I will explain that pattern modification in a second, but yeah. It's exact same pattern, just arms are a little bit shorter. If you want to make them the same length, you can. It's This pattern you can kind of manipulate, just so you know. It's not exactly row by row by row. You can have some fun with it and make them a little bit bigger or smaller. It's all up to you. I'm just pulling them down to the bottom. And e wrapping again. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I've knitted about three rows, so I'm just going to take the yarn tail that I started with and kind of feed it into the smaller end of the spool loom, as you can see here. This helps me anchor it better, and also allows me to pull um, down on it in between rows so I get a little bit better tension. Um, I would suggest this, it makes it a lot easier to knit. Now I'm just continuing around. For the legs, I would do about 16 rows, and for the arms, I would do 12 rows. The rest of the video got deleted, so all you have to do is do a gather bind off about that. I really apologize. Like I said, this video is kind of all over the place. Um, that's not like me. I just cannot find the film for that. Now we're on to making the ears. Um, I'm just doing a gather bind off cast on on nine of the pegs so you can see when I went to peg nine with this gather by non I just kind of did a u-turn came back around and put my yarn in front of the loom so that I could easily knit off as shown here um, so that's just a tip with that you could do gather and bind on on you don't have to do it on the whole loom you could do it on segments of the loom for a special thing like making these little ears now I'm gonna go ahead and e-wrap around just those nine pegs Now I'm just pulling the loops down to the bottom of the peg, and I'm gonna go ahead and e-wrap again. Oops, I missed a little, missed a little guy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and e-wrap again. And 
No, I'm just knitting off. Now, for this bind off, what I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm taking one loop, putting it on the peg to the right, knitting it off, then moving, pulling on it a little bit to give it a little tension, then moving that to the peg to the right, and, oops, if I can get it on there, then I'm knitting this off, pulling on it a little bit to give it a little tension, and then once again, I'm moving it to the right. You're just going to kind of build on, build on, build on, build on, as you go to kind of create the curvature of the ear. Once again, just knitting off, moving it to the next peg. You could go from left to right, but it's a pain. Go from right to left. Start, start there and go, go to the right. And last one. After I do the last one, I e-wrap one more time and knit it off just so it finishes off a little bit better. Then um, I like to e-wrap again if I can get it. It keeps falling off. Um, just for security so it doesn't unravel. Then I'm just kind of cut it. Then I'm just going to open up the loop with my fingers, as you can see I'm doing here, and pull that yarn tail through. And kind of shape it a little bit. Alright, so now I've gone ahead and made both ears. As you can see I did the exact same one for both. And then here's my little arm. As you can tell it's only 12 uh, rows long. Versus the other one is 16. Once again, I really apologize for deleting the video. All I did at the end though was just do a gather and bind off just like we did with the head and the body. So really simple. Now, sorry again, once again, weird wacky uh, lighting change, but that's what it should look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble the um, legs to the body. So I just threaded a needle into the leg, um, into the black yarn that came from the leg. And um, I'm just going ahead and kind of going through the butt and just, you know, kind of arrange it how you want it to. Um, this is the kind of point in the video where you can have some fun with it and you can affect how you want the bear to be sitting and stuff like that so um, after I've done that and I feel like it's pretty secure I'm just cutting the end tying a double knot with my fingers and then cutting off any extra Alright, so I went ahead and did the second leg, and now I'm just doing the arm. I kind of started the arm like where your shoulder blade is, if you kind of can feel where your shoulder blade is. Kind of started it towards the back a little bit more, so you can see the arms coming around to the front. And, um, yeah, for these, as you can see, I'm just going in and out, in and out, around that edge of the arm, or the leg, or whatever you're you're uh, fixating on there and then I'm doing the other arm now exact same place you just kind of want to line them up I kind of lined the legs up with the arms you know kind of made them parallel um, so it wasn't like the arms were off from the legs now for stuffing this I'm just taking my fiber fill and I kind of go slowly with this I put some fiber fill in it then I shape it then I cinch it up a little bit add more fiber fill cinch it more you know you kind of shape it as you go And we're almost done with the body. I'm just doing any last minute touches. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, now moving on to the head. I'm going to be attaching the ears to the head. Best tip I can give you for this, think of Mickey Mouse. Think of how his ears are positioned and kind of do these ears at the same angle. <coughs> yeah, I'm just adding in the ears. These I just go on a couple times. Um, yeah, they're pretty secure. Now I'm doing the other ear, just threading it in. Sorry, my, my voice is like cracking and like I keep coughing over here. I'm sorry if it if I say woo <laughs> I'm I'm getting a little sick over here, so I, I really apologize. Like I said, this video is cuckoo and <sighs> unfortunately. Alright, so now I'm just taking a really long piece of black yarn and I've tied a knot at the very base of it. Now I'm going to be adding the features of the face. The eyes and the little nose and the little mouth, which I will all be showing you. For the eyes, I'm doing X's and I'm locating them close to the little ears. For the nose, I chose to do a downward triangular nose. Now once again, if you wanted to put buttons on for the eyes, that's completely fine. I just know not everybody has black buttons that are the same size and stuff like that and same with the nose. You could do any kind of nose that you want to do. Um, I just made a triangle and then just filled it in slowly but surely. Then 
thin. You could add on a mouth. I've seen some people who don't even put a mouth on. I just did a really simple stitched mouth that kind of came out from the nose. Once again, you can see this took the most time. Yeah, there's my little mouth. Um, now I'm just taking fiber fill, stuffing him up. Now I'm going to be stitching the head and the body together. Sorry, I am going quickly because, like I said, this video would be 30 minutes long if it didn't. Just finishing it up. And now I'm tying a knot to the base so you can't see it. And I've cut all my ends off. And that's the final product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Once again, check out those other videos. Sorry for the craziness of the video. And I will see you all next Friday. Bye!